Hello, it's Damien. Um, long time to talk. <laughs> I've been really busy. I got a promotion at work, so I've been working full time and then some at the store. And I haven't, I just had my phone. I just got a laptop like a month ago. So I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. But I figured I would make a video. And the first video I thought I would make was one on self-esteem because it's something that I struggle with a lot and I know a lot of other people struggle with it too. So I just thought I'd share my opinions and my thoughts and yeah, just give a little rundown of what I've learned over the past few months about loving myself and treating myself like I deserve to be treated. So let's start with number one. Um, I don't know where I read this. I honestly have no clue and I thought that it was kind of a well-known phrase maybe, but I'm not sure. Anyways, um, basically the gist of the phrase was that you shouldn't say anything to yourself that you won't want somebody else to say to your best friend or your mom or your sister or, you know, your closest female person. So when you're sitting there calling yourself fat and you're calling yourself ugly and stupid and you know all those negative expressions that we like to use to describe ourselves, imagine somebody else calling your best friend that or saying that to your mom. And it puts things in a whole different perspective because I, for one, am not super protective of myself. <laughs> But when it comes to like my mom and my best friend, I'm overprotective almost. And so to think that, you know, somebody else saying that to someone I love, it makes me upset. But then I think, well, I should love myself too. So I'm saying that to myself. I should be angry at myself for saying those things because I love myself. I'm awesome. <laughs> and so that's the first tip I have is whenever you catch yourself telling yourself that you're fat or that nobody likes you or that you're ugly or you're stupid just imagine somebody saying that to you know your best friend and get angry get angry at that you're not supposed to feel that way about yourself because you're awesome you're you are an amazing person and so that's the first tip I have. The second tip I have is, to me, it more relates to weight loss and to weight-related issues. And I know it's really easy when you're overweight or, you know, you don't like your weight. It's really easy to pick body parts that you hate, like your arms or your thighs or your neck or you know anything basically and I think that it's just a way of us pinpointing what we see that other people think is wrong because I have like some chicken wing thing going on there and you know I've seen all these toned girls and they've got muscles and there's no chicken wings and so society tells me that that is not an attractive thing to have these chicken wings but I have them and you know what they're not going away anytime soon I mean I'm trying to make them go away because let's face it chicken wings <laughs> but having them right now is not an issue having them right now it's still part of my body I still love it I still, it's, my arms can do so many things. My legs can do so many things. My hands, my feet, every part of my body is an amazing piece of machinery. And when you think about how many muscles and bones and nerve endings go into a simple motion, just moving my mouth is taking muscles. And to think that it's all working in synchronization and it's all working well, it kind of puts things in perspective, you know. Yeah, I'm not super happy with my chicken arms, but you know what? My chicken arms can do awesome things. You know, my chicken arms can lift 100 pounds at work. 
my chicken arms can, you know, juggle and stuff. <laughs> so that's, that's the second tip I would, I would give to people is just, you know, remember what your body is capable of. And yeah, you might not like some parts of it, but that doesn't mean you have to hate them. That doesn't mean you have to love them any less because they can do awesome things. All right, last piece of advice. I made a list because I'm really bad at remembering things. Um, the last piece of advice is to not tear other people down. And I know that kind of like doesn't immediately come to mind when you talk about self-esteem. But in the end, when you tear other people down and you call other people ugly and you call other people fat and you know all the derogatory terms that we hear people use these days, it shouldn't make you feel good. It should make you feel horrible. It should make you feel like a bad person. Because what you're doing to that person is you're telling them what they're worth. You're telling them that basically you see them as nothing more than a fat person, as nothing more than a stupid person, as nothing more than an ugly person. And imagine saying, somebody saying that to you. Imagine hearing that you are nothing more than a fat person, that you are nothing more than a stupid person. When in reality, you are so much more than that. And you know you're more than that. So don't tear other people down. <laughs> because they're more than that. They're more than their weight. They're more than their intelligence. They're more than their skin. They're more than their hair. They're more than the clothes that they wear. They're more than everything. Let me just... <laughs> Stop getting teary-eyed. And one more thing. If you go around telling other people that they're pretty all the time, you deserve to hear you're pretty too. Because you are. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're wonderful. You deserve to be told you're pretty too. And you know what? If people don't realize how pretty you are and how gorgeous you are, tell yourself. I wake up every day, hair everywhere, you know, makeup running off my face, stuff on my teeth, just halitosis, it's horrible. And every day I look in the mirror now, and I, know, I say, you know what, you are beautiful, you're gorgeous. You know, if other people don't choose to see it, that's not my fault. I know I'm pretty, and I know I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> So anyway, that's my video. It's a long video. I didn't realize it was going to be that long. But I just wanted to give my tips on self-esteem. And just to remind you guys that you are amazing. I can't even think of the words to describe you. You know? You're pretty. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. You're intelligent. You're witty. You're smart. You're you're everything, you know? Everything. Alright, I'll see you guys later.